Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to the first experiment of the fluid mechanics lab. In fact, uh, the easiest uh, experiment of the lab, that is the Renault supporters. So try to understand what is the physical set uh, setup is there. So we have got a, a supply tank which is of dimension of 300 by 300 by 300 mm then storage tank which is of the 400 by 400 into 600 mm however these are not important for the any calculation point of view these are required for the uh, maintaining the steady flow i hope last time you remember that uh, i have explained what is the steady flow and unsteady flow and uh, inform and non inform so the certain amount of the head is maintained throughout the experiment then only we can get the steady flow steady flow doesn't mean the same flow rate so you can change the flow rate but it should remain the same throughout the time means suppose i have opened a particular wall suppose you can see so there is a pipe here okay which is the, through which the water is flowing and there is a wall is here okay which is a flow control wall so if I change the flow rate, uh, the wall setting, then also the flow will remain same. That is what is called as steady flow. Now what is it? So can you see a, a dye injection? Means what? In the experiment, we are using the potassium permanganate, which is having a, a typical pink color. And while flow, if the objective of the experiment. So what we are going to do in this particular experiment? So we are going to check the uh, flow visualization, whether the flow is laminar, turbulent or a transfer. If the flow is uh, in the layers, which is organized, then it is called as a laminar flow. If it is uh, disturbed, very much disturbed, then it is called as a turbulent flow. But if it is in between, that is called as a translational flow, for which what we use is a Reynolds uh, number. So Reynolds number is uh, defined as viscous uh, inertia force to the viscous force which is given by as rho Vd by mu. Now question comes what is rho? It is density uh, of the fluid. So here the fluid is water therefore we take as a 1000 kg per meter cube. The next one is the diameter, diameter of this pipe which is nothing but the 25 mm. Hmm. Then the next one velocity. Question comes sir, what about the velocity? You cannot know the velocity directly. For that, you need to determine the discharge, which is with the help of it, this measuring flask. So I am using it, this flask and I will wait till it reaches the my certain point. Okay? And for which I will take the time. Suppose it is of the 1 litre, you can see it is of 1 litre, for filling up the 1 litre, it takes, let us say it is a 20 seconds, let us say it is 20 seconds, so 1 litre is nothing but 1 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube, so meter, the 1 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube divided by what is the time coming, okay, I am taking the 20 centimetre, so I will get the discharge. Now question comes, it is actual discharge, as I said, it is the direct measure, therefore I will say it is actual discharge divided by the area. Question comes, which area? Area of this pipe and cross section area, not the surface area, okay. Then you will come to know about the velocity, that is discharge, I will come to know what is the volume, 1 liter and divided by the the time that will give the discharge and correspondingly I will have the, the area it is also known so velocity is nothing but discharge divided by the area cross section area of the pipe so I will get the velocity then by that I will get the velocity, velocity. Reynolds number is rho V D by mu so rho is 1000 you know it and uh, velocity you have just calculated by discharge divided by the area cross section area then what comes is nothing but the diameter that is also known but the in the denominator we have got a dynamic viscosity which is of 10 raised to minus 3 pascal second or 10 raised to minus 3 newton second newton second uh, newton second per meter square by that i will calculate this reynolds number i will calculate the reynolds number if the value is less than 2000 then it is called as a laminar it is called as a laminar flow. If it is greater than 4000, then it is turbulent flow. If it is in between the 2000 to 4000, then it is called as a translational flow. 
Now, question comes in, that's all okay, but how, uh, I, how I should believe that uh, below 2000, it is a lambda. If it is question, very good. And for that, you can see, just uh, see it closely, you can see a, uh, a thin line of the per potassium permanganate, which is in order, uh, which is flowing with the in order of the water only. Right? Suppose if I change the flow rate, if I change the flow rate, then it will be starting disturbing. What is laminar flow? Which remains in the flow or what we say as a systematic flow. See, it is systematic? Yes. Now that we are confirming with the Reynolds number less than the 2000. But if it is disturbed, if it is disturbed or you can say uh, uh, zigzag motion like that, then what we will say, you cannot see this Lam uh, uh, the systematic way of the flow which will be changing and thus what we say as a turbulent flow which is uh, which is designated by Reynolds number greater than 4000 if it is in between then it is called as a transitional flow yes you can just observe it okay now can you see it is uh, slowly disappearing means what if the mixing is going to take place the mixing is taking place that's why you cannot see the potassium permanganate at the separate one You might have a question that, sir, you said that it is the easiest experiment. Why? Easiest experiment because, as I said, it is the flow modulation uh, method, and here you are going to get the only one uh, measuring parameter, which is nothing but the time. All other things remain the same. The flow, uh, the water remains the same. Therefore, density as well as the viscosity remains the same. Okay, the pipe remains the same. Therefore, even the heat won't change. But what changes is the velocity, which is nothing but by changing the flow rate. If I change the flow rate, although the, uh, the time is going to only change because remember we are taking with the only one liter. We are not taking this one. So for one liter we are getting the different times. Means what? Different times means the velocity is changing. If the velocity is changing, the flow pattern also going to change. And through which we can just conclude that with the velocity change, if all the things remain same, then how the flow changes from the laminar to transitional, then to the turbulent. That is the what we say the easiest experiment to begin with this particular. Okay, thank you.